Uh, the, the reason we made this movie is to help kids that are at risk in India, Nepal, and the U.S. I think the inspiration was really from the book. When I read the book, uh, I was so deeply touched. Uh, it's one girl's story. And uh, this one girl's story speaks for uh, something like 1.8 million children who are forced into sexual slavery every year. Uh, so, you know, we had an incredible crew that, that uh, some of them came from Mumbai, others came from Calcutta. We had great Indian actors, a super talented cast, uh, Seema Biswas, Ankur Vikal, uh, uh, Sushmita Mukherjee, uh, you know, Tilota Masome, Priyanka Bose, just an amazing, uh, talented cast. Uh, and, you know, they made it easy, but, you know, it was, uh, it, it's a challenging subject. Um, it was hard for all of us to bear witness to the reality that, of what we were filming, but there was a lot of laughter, and uh, even in the movie, you know, there's, there's different uh, emotions. You know, there's, we threw in a little masala, you know, <laughs> and, um, and we also threw in childlike humor as well. Um, so the movie really shows a child forced into this issue, uh, forced into a brothel against her will, uh, but she remains a child, uh, but she's very strong, and she's helping everyone around her, and at the same time, the whole time, trying to figure out how can I get out, how can I escape. So the film leaves the audience inspired, uh, inspired to take action. So uh, when we researched this movie, um, we went through the red light district of Kanatipura and also Sonagachi. And um, uh, you know, we also talked to many NGOs, nonprofit organizations, Apni Ap, New Light, um, Prirana. You know, there are many organizations we went to, Rescue Mission in Mumbai. And we met, uh, I would say, we saw 2,000 girls who had been trafficked. Uh, their average age is around 13, 14, like the, the girl in our movie. Um, this is the global average age of children that are trafficked. And it's the same in the U.S., same in Nepal, India, anywhere in the world. The average age is 13. This is very, it's a very heart-wrenching reality. And we must come together and make change to change this. Um, well, you know, we haven't released in Canada yet, but uh, in the U.S., uh, you know, we've had a great response. The audience is always very deeply moved, and they're, they, they laugh, they cry, and they want to know, uh, often the, one of the first questions is, what can I do? So our website, soldthemovie.com, has ways for people to engage deeply with the issue and to become part of the solution, to become part of the change that needs to happen. Uh, people in India, we, we very much want to release the film in India, and we also want to translate it uh, into multiple languages. So we're, we're raising funds to do this, and we hope to be in India by this fall or by the winter of this year. So uh, the hardest part uh, for finding the actors was finding the lead girl. Um, we looked for six months. We saw over a thousand children. 700 were on video, uh, and uh, we had an amazing casting woman, Tess Joseph, in Mumbai, and her team, they, they went all over India and also Nepal uh, to find these kids. They went to schools, they auditioned so many children, and, uh, and when we saw the audition that uh, Niar Sekia did, it was, this was her, you know, so our prayers had been answered. She's a phenomenal actor. And, uh, and then Sushmita Mukherjee, um, she told me she'd never auditioned for anything in her life, but she really wanted to do this movie. She was really moved by the script. And she, um, she rented this huge wig, and she was chewing pan, and she really like, became Mamtaz, the character who is the villain, in the negative character in the film. And um, it, her audition also was just amazing, a stellar. And Ankur Vikal, uh, is, you know, he's a phenomenal actor. He was in uh, so many movies. Uh, most recently, 24 Hours, he was in the series. Uh, so I think everyone knows him from this, but also Slumdog in the West, we know him from Slumdog Millionaire. Um, and uh, just uh, Seema Biswas, you know, she's probably won every award 
there is to win in India. Um, she was in Water and, and so many films. Uh, she was the bandit queen when she was just starting out. And Tolotoma Shome, uh, you know, Monsoon Wedding and so many other incredible films. Uh, all of these actors were so committed and uh, many of them have traveled with us with the film and you know, they really care deeply about the issue. They met these kids and like me and Jane, the producer, we're all just whatever can we can do to use this film to support uh, children who are at risk or who have been trafficked, we will do. Yeah, so uh, culturally, was it different? Well, uh, you know, some Indian actors tend to overact a little bit. So we had to find a middle ground. Uh, so that happened a little bit, but mostly these actors were trained by the National School of Drama. Almost all my actors have been to National School of Drama, and that is one of the most phenomenal acting training grounds in the world. Uh, so these are world-class actors. I mean, we had, the difficulty was choosing between great and great. Uh, there were so many talented actors in India, and uh, all of my cast is, you know, they are just phenomenal. So the way to end child trafficking is everyone needs to bear witness to this reality. Uh, you know, there, there are, you know, soldthemovie.com lists our partner organizations. Uh, wherever you live uh, in India, I'm sure there's an excellent organization right in your city. Find out about that organization, uh, see if it's a worthy one of your support, and you can donate your time, your talent, uh, or, or money. Um, we saw organizations that really need support, and we saw children that really need support. So, you know, if you are able to do seva and, and go to these uh, nonprofit organizations and donate your time. These kids need vocational training and they need healing and they need people, they need community to support them. And so that's a lot of what we're doing with the Taught Not Traffic campaign. We want to keep kids in school because if you keep a girl in school till uh, 16 or more, the chances of her getting traffic drop 80 percent. Um, so that's the first step. The next step, so educate girls. Uh, there are many wonderful organizations throughout India like Pratham and, and many others that are educating girls. So support this effort. And then also, uh, you know, support the kids who have been trafficked, because if, if they can be healed and empowered, given vocational training and, and brought into freedom, uh, they are going to be the change makers, because they've already faced death. And they're the ones who are going to be the fearless activists. Same in this country, like our laws change because people who are trafficked in the U.S. testified to Congress. I think the same will happen in India as well. So, um, so our, our film is based on a novel which was written for high school kids. Uh, it's been translated into 32 languages and often it's the first thing a, a young person will read to understand this, this issue of human slavery is still happening today. Most people walking around uh, in our world don't know there are 21 million slaves on the planet. Most people don't know this. Um, this book begins that process with young people. Um, and um, you know, the, our film and the book together are a very powerful combination to, to start educating more and more people. And we want to get the movie translated to lots and lots of lang languages all over the world. Um, we, there's a great organization called International Justice Mission uh, they work on the law side, and they're working with the Indian government, and they're working with the, the authorities, the police in India. You know, they're in every country, uh, including the U.S., there are good police, and there are police who are corrupt. Uh, in every country, there are good politicians, and there's also politicians who are corrupt. Uh, this issue goes up and down the ladder of both the police and governments. Um, and so the political will must be there to really affect this. Also corporations must get involved and citizens uh, must get involved. Uh, I think um, Nirbhaya changed everything in India. Uh, there's a woman named Ruchir Gupta who's one of our partners. She's the founder of Apni App. For nine years she tried to change the laws in India to make them much more tough on the traffickers, on the crime syndicates. Uh, after Nirbhaya, those laws passed. 
So now on the books in India, there are very, very stringent laws. Um, the next step is getting them enforced, getting them for enforced on a, on a much bigger scale. Same is true in the US. I met a nurse who works in an emergency room in New York in a hospital. She told me she cannot report a trafficking victim to the regular police because many of the regular police are complicit, not all. So she has to report to a special unit uh, if she suspects trafficking. So this is a global problem. It's not just a problem in India. And there's so many people addressing it globally. We need more people addressing it, and we need more awareness about this. So yeah, so with it, with, we have a campaign with this film called the Taught Not Traffic Campaign. We're uh, building schools in Nepal. 5,000 schools were destroyed in Nepal. We're, we're using uh, our film as a fundraiser for an uh, organization called Child Reach Nepal. Um, because you know, if you educate a kid until they're 16, the chances of them being trafficked go way down. Uh, in India, we're partnered with the Art of Living and the Care for Child Initiative, the Art of Living Foundation. Uh, we're, we're building um, shelters for the children of, uh, who are from the red light districts and from the streets. Uh, because uh, these children are very vulnerable. Um, if we can get them into uh, schools uh, and uh, have people, the, the community, the Seva community, uh, support them, they will have incredible lives. Uh, we're also bringing something called Yoga Nidra to survivors of trafficking, uh, both in India and Nepal. This is something, this is a yoga that's very ancient. It comes from India. Uh, it's being used in the U.S with the veterans uh, that are returning from Afghanistan and Iraq. It stabilizes PTSD, post-traumatic stress syndrome. So we're um, raising, using our film to raise funds to bring this kind of healing and support to the survivors of sex trafficking, because they also have PTSD. Many of them are physically brutalized and, and forced into this. Um, and you know there, there are other initiatives, but those are the main ones, and we have incredible partners. Uh, Save the Children, World Vision, uh, Art of Living, um, you know, uh, ECPAT, uh, Attest, uh, many great, uh, the Rotarians, you know, Rotary Clubs. We want our film to be brought to communities, to rota Rotary Clubs, so that they can use the film to raise funds in their area for addressing trafficking where they live, uh, as well as internationally. So. The idea is to get not just individuals in the movie theater involved, but communities involved. So this is our hope for the film, to raise millions of dollars to help this issue uh, change and to spread the light of awareness.